Okay, in this video we're going to look at an example of finding the equation of a tangent line. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the tangent line to the graph of f of x equals x squared minus 3 at the point 3 comma 6. And again, to do this we, we can just use a point slope formula. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Well, we know that the point on the graph that we're using is 3 comma 6. So I'm just going to plug in 6 for the y sub 1 value. And then I'm going to plug in 3 for my x sub 1 value. Now the only thing we have to figure out is the slope. But again, to find the slope, we just take the derivative. And all we have to do is plug in the x coordinate, which in this case is going to be 3. So uh, the, the kind of long part here is actually going to be computing the derivative. So all right, well, let's do that. So we've got the limit as h goes to 0, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So again, we're just going to use our function here, x squared minus 3. So that's going to give us, well, the limit as h approaches 0. Again, just replace all the x's with x plus h. So we would have x plus h squared minus 3. And then we would have to subtract away the original function, which would just be x squared minus 3. And then um, all of that will be divided by h. So now we just need to simplify this expression a little bit more. So hopefully it won't be too bad here. Um, so let's see, we would have the limit as h approaches 0. Well, this is x plus h times x plus h. So if you were to uh, distribute that out, we would get x squared. We would get an xh and then another xh, which would give us, well, 2xh. And then uh, h times h would give us h squared. We've still got our minus 3. If we distribute the negative, we'll get negative x squared plus 3. And again, everything's all over h. So let's see, I think we can cancel out some stuff here. We've got the limit as h goes to 0. We've got x squared minus x squared, so that's gone. Um, we've got a negative 3 plus 3, so that's also gone. Uh, we could factor an h out of the numerator. Well, let's see, h times 2x would give us 2xh. And then h times positive h would give us positive h squared. Well, again, we've got h in the denominator. Well, we can just cancel out the h's. Again, you can think about there's being a times 1 in the denominator. And now if we plug in h equals 0, when we plug in uh, h equals 0, we're just left with 2x plus 0, or we're left with 2x. So that's going to be a nice little formula for our derivative. So again, the only thing that we were missing was uh, we said we had to take the derivative and plug in the value of 3 to get the slope of the tangent line. Well, if we plug in 3 into our derivative, it says, well, we'll get 2 times 3. Um, and 2 times 3 is just 6. So it says the derivative evaluated at 3 is 6. Equivalently, the instantaneous rate of change, or you can think about it as being the slope of the tangent line on the graph, will be 6. So it looks like our equation, so we had y minus 6. We had to figure out the slope. Uh, it was x minus 3 for the other part. Um, again, we figured out the slope m, uh, f prime of 3. We've got that to be the value 6. So now we've got the equation of our tangent line.